I don't want to tell myself in 50 years if everything messes up that I didn't do what I can do. So I said, okay, uh, maybe we don't make it, but I want to be honest to myself in 50 years and I want to be able to say I did what I could, what was in my power. The idea behind the Challenge Lab is to use students as change agents. If you have research at Chalmers, uh, it's basically staying at university. It's never between the triple helix, which is university, the private and the public industry. We are 12 students here, coming from many different countries like Mexico, Austria, India and China. And we also have a very diverse educational background, management, energy systems, industrial ecology. There is no bad idea, we just throw them out and then we can discuss them. Not only, oh, it's gonna reach mass market, but also why would that be interesting for people? What happens with ideas after the Challenge Lab is another feature that is very unique. The idea is that you come up with such an interesting idea that motivates you so much that you actually want to develop it further on after you graduate. So you can do that, of course, in a company, but you can also start your own business, become an entrepreneur and try to make a change. Chalmers has their vision of a sustainable future embedded in their whole, uh, in their whole body. They have the clusters, the energy or the areas of advance. I mean, the Challenge Lab is one tool to improve sustainability and Chalmers took a big step taking this opportunity and trying it out. Other universities don't do that.